So let's do this. Uh, security. How can we do it fast? How can we do it efficiently? How can we do it so it doesn't make us hurt in our souls? So before I get started, and, and you did give a little bit, I've been in security for a really long time. I think the statute of limitations is up on when I first actually hacked into my first computer. I think it was 17 or 18, come get me fuzz. Um, now I'm an application security engineer at Tumblr, hence all the animated GIFs in my slides. Um, I also teach application security at NYU, uh, just trying to get people to actually get security in their brains, not as an afterthought, but you really have to feel it in your marrow, and I'll get into a little bit of how you can maybe drink a little bit more security Kool-Aid in your diet. Uh, but I haven't always been in startups. I actually started out working for the military, the US Army, went also into, after that into the Federal Reserve, uh, then worked at NASDAQ, then worked at Citibank. So I've seen the way security is done in a lot of different environments. And Again, there is no one, like with everything, there's no one size fits all solution for security. There's no silver bullet. Uh, but hopefully, but I've seen the things that work and don't work, and hopefully I can convey a little bit of that to you. So, why do we need security? And especially, why do we need application security? The applications. Uh, a lot of times when people think of security, uh, especially if they're not very um, involved in doing it, they kind of think of it, I, I always, um, the speaker lounge up there is called the Gibson. I'm like, I'm in the Gibson. I hacked the Gibson, if you've ever seen that movie. Great movie. I think it's on Netflix now. Go see it. Um, but the applications are, and this is maybe these statistics have probably changed a little bit, but from NIST, uh, National Institute of Security something something, applications are everything. You have applications running on your phones, you have applications running on your servers, you have applications running on your routers, your firewalls, applications are everywhere. They're in your refrigerator, they're in your toaster, it's really scary. And this is just uh, when I was building out these slides, I'm like, oh, I should you know, find some recent security breaches just to kind of drive the fear of God or whatever into these people. And instead of just you know, calling out one company that got hacked, another company that got hacked, I just saw on Twitter that um, Yahoo is releasing or, or is, has disclosed the security uh, passwords or something, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Uh, don't ask me. Uh, so I just, I, I went to Google and I'm like, oh, how about just keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Every single day, it seems like almost at least once a month we hear about some major organization that has had a security breach. And you don't want to be that company. Nobody wants to be that company. But a lot of times they don't realize that it's sort of like when, if, if you've ever had been pickpocketed, I mean, we are in New York, it's a lot safer now, though. Uh, if you've ever been pickpocketed, if you've ever, um, you know, had something negative happen to you, it's like you don't really realize that it could happen to you until it doesn't really drive home until something actually occurs, and then, then you just become really par paranoid and your life is, becomes weird. So that's all well and good, right? We... We, I'm pretty, pretty sure I don't have to convince anybody in this room that you need security. You need to have secure products. You need to code defensively. You need to just be vigilant about making sure uh, this stuff is happening in your organization. 